Alright, what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to the Oromancy Brawl. We are playing some Mansk. And uh, well, Brawl Modifiers this week is pretty straightforward. It's called the Oromancy Brawl because we have three auras to pick from. As you can see on the side here, but uh, we'll, we'll pick them in a moment. Uh, but I'm just trying to gamble and hopefully I get like triple life. And these lings go from 35 health to like 125 health monstrosities. That's not life. Um, well, blood could be useful. Uh, I'm not going to go for that again. I'm going to go for shadow here. And I guess we'll go for fire. So I didn't get life. But shadow and fire and, and blood are pretty good combos here. Um, well, that's a bummer. I didn't high roll. But we got wild card here with us on Kerrigan. I wonder what wild card has gotten. For the modifiers here. Earth and fire. So maybe there's two sets of fire there that I don't see yet. I'm gonna increase my refiner size. Oh, that didn't go through last game. Okay, oh well. Um, let's see. It would have been pretty good to have more life on my boys, but I, I just didn't roll life. Unlucky. I'll get some LMGs here and figure that out. Um, what am I up against here? I'm up against Phoenix? I'm up against Phoenix. Ah, oh, hmm. That should be a pretty easy matchup. Uh, I just gotta have a bunch of shock divisions, and uh, Phoenix is just gonna be really sad, so let's just do that. Uh, I'm gonna expect that I'm gonna be facing Praetor Phoenix pretty soon, though. He's just gonna. That's gonna be a pretty big power swing. Uh, but yeah, so the. I don't know, like, the, the world's the limit with the Oromancy Brawls. The Oromancy Brawl, honestly, it's like. You know. Did we just take that? I, like, looked away from my computer. Alright, well, um... <laughs> well, there's that. Uh, sure. I mean, like, LMG boys with fire and ice are, I mean, I don't know, fire and shadow are uh, not to be messed with. And then, like, the blood really keeps everyone juiced up. I mean, sure, I'll take it. Uh, oh, we got some Mecha Zerglings. Oh my god, can you imagine Mecha Zerglings with 125 health? They're like, they have that immortal status on them too, right? With their shields and stuff. That'd actually be pretty insane. Um, this guy went straight for a Colossus. Are my eyes deceiving me? Because I can tell you right now that Colossus is going to have a bad time. You see all these Zerglings there? He's going to get run over by them. Here we go, boys. Oh, he has the guys put down in a line. Uh, okay. Oh, but there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of swarm hosts. Holy. I wonder what Avatar swarm host could do with, like, maximum CDR, for example. Um, well, I mean, you know, I guess we can figure that out, right? Um, I mean, I, I guess we also played our Avatar games already on our, on our, on our, on our tier list. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to drop a few scans there probably, um, but I'll also probably have to get some these. So this game looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting. Holy, those lings are just like on crack. They're just like machine guns with their auto attacks. Complete. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the content, be sure to watch this video until the end um, to see what happens. I guess with our with our game here, um, this is where the extra armor would have come in pretty useful. Um, Oh my god, are those guys moving faster? I think they have life, and they have like some sort of move speed buff. They have like 0.5 increased attack speed. Um, holy, okay, well I'm gonna put this down. Because I do want the witness here, that'll help increase the attack speed of my, of my things. Um, but I'm gonna need a bot load of flame boys. And I can only afford like one of them maybe. Or two of them, I don't know. Holy, those are going to be problematic. Because the lings don't actually counter those. But I guess the blood of my tanks are helping. Um, pretty significantly. My blood tank. Uh, I'm going to get two flamethrowers here. Get the Neo Steel 4 or 5. Boom, boom, boom. Like, after there's like a tanking potential this week, could be pretty insane. Um, holy. Okay, this guy's nothing but Colossus. I don't know. I mean, Colossus get countered by uh, some Hailstorm launchers, so let's do that. Um, 
Increase their range. There we go. <laughs> oh man. But look at that. Like, we're gonna need some ultras. We're gonna need some ultras to chew those up. Um, I don't think my ultras will cut it though. Like, it has to be wild cards ultras. Oh yeah, he's got one. Okay. There we go. Like, I, I, I literally cannot breach through that because my units just simply don't have like the sustain. Woo! I guess if you have lots of CDR on Avatar, you can literally build a wall that is alive. <laughs> it's one of the beauties of this week's brawl. Like, it's just there's so many cool things that could happen. Like, I would, I, I think I enjoy the brawls that are all super interesting. You know, I, and I feel like I speak when I when I say that I speak for everyone uh, that you know interesting brawls are are a lot of fun to play. Uh, I actually cannot breach through those those Colossus here because I simply don't have enough units here. I'm gonna get another. I could probably get a Sky Theory or something, but like I don't know. Warbringer's just gonna get knocked down here. We can get down bad. But even these Ultras, like holy, like they got that sustain and they're still getting chopped. Like Ultras and Lurkers will probably be what it'll take. Damn. I mean. Actually, you know what? Ultra Second Life is actually helping out massively. They're uh, the end is in our grasp. they're actually they're actually so cutting through. They're cutting through. They're making their way through. They're making their way downtown. Um, uh, let's have a look here. There's a Sky Fury. Okay. Did we like just lose? No, we we have detection here. Okay, cool. Upgrade my weapons here. Okay, Phoenix is just asking me to build a Sky Fury, so I'll probably start and do that. Um, because he's going for like. I don't know, like Polarine or something? Like, I don't know. Um, nah, I, I don't know. He's just building pure massive units. Like, does he have extra armor or something? Um, I don't even know. Let's see, are my siege tanks strong enough here? Actually, no, my siege tanks backed up by a uh, Valkar's Ultras so should be able to just like knock it out of the park here. Well, it should be, but I don't know. Ultras get countered by the Aegis Guard pretty hard, so there's also that. I'm gonna have to get a Sky Fury here. Maybe I'll put it in the back. Boom. Um, found some some SMG boys. No LMGs. Okay, there's Polarian. Um. All right. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to say at this point. I'm just watching, living in the moment, you know. Watching Kolarian get knocked out. <laughs> like I don't know. All it takes is like one or two Sky Furies. Uh, the problem is this Mutalisk now. Um, I have to deal with those. Um, I'll just mean that we need a Black Hammer. Um, but yeah, Kerrigan can easily take care of the Mutalisk just like that by dropping a Fat Wave there. I think we definitely need some lurkers too. Um, let's see, what am I gonna do here? Target locked. Raiders. Roll. Some will die so that others may live. Turn these guys into LMG boys. Um, should I get a more gas? I'm gonna get one more gas here. I think. It's kind of, it's kind of greedy, but I think this game might go on a little longer. Uh, get some lurks. Too, uh, like some lurkers here to back up your ultras will be really good. I don't have enough flame boys though. And, I don't know. Uh, I guess, oh wait, Stepman also has Lurkers. Oops, I wasn't specific. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm getting slapped here. Uh, I should just get Rocket Boys. I don't know. Hey, look at all those mutalists, like holy. Broodlord's coming in, but like, I don't think Broodlords can contest this sheer amount of locusts. It's like the end of days, boys. That's how many locusts there are. Holy. I don't know if that scan's even worth it. <laughs> I wish I knew why I forgot about Kerrigan's lurkers. <laughs> oh. There's that too. I mean, you know, lurkers are very forgettable because they're hidden behind the hydralisk. 
you know. Uh, holy. Yeah, tanks aren't gonna cut it here. Um. Um, holy. The build is insane right now. Let's see. Oh, my Skype here just took all that stuff out, but. Um, what do I need? Oh my god, I think I want a. Definitely a Battle Carrier Lord. I'm not back to A Black Hammer. We're just talking about Battle Carrier Lords, so I was just thinking Battle Carrier Lords, but yeah. Um, Terrakin's pretty good against the Mutalisk, actually, because she does that bounce attack. Um, okay, I'm going to retract anti air weaponry. Very important. I don't know about Bulwark Field. Oh my god, you can like make like the beefiest Aegis Guard this week. Because Aegis Guard, I think, have like base 4 armor. If you get 6 armor from your aura, you have 10 armor, and then like you get 13 armor. Although, that's at the end of the day really not worth it because you could have spent that in something else. That's more useful, I guess. I don't know. You can see here, Phoenix's purely massive units are getting smashed into pieces here. Uh, Alright, come on, boys. Oh yeah, melt those Mutalisk, baby. Woo, all it took is one black hammer. Because I also have shadow and fire as well. Um, and that lurker there is doing something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, definitely thin in the herd. Thin in the herd. Oh, man. Come on, baby. Uh, I can probably get my hands on some ultralisk as well. So maybe I'll put the ultralisk down on this side where I don't have flame boys. Uh, but yeah, I put some, these guys will be flame boys. They'll graduate into flame boys. Uh, just not for this wave. Holy! Okay, Sky Fury with the increase of attack speed. Could still be able to, come on. I guess he took out the shields on Kolarian. You know, better than nothing. Especially because that wasn't the first wave. Uh, boom. I think Black Hammer here is just going to lend so much air support here. Um, he's going to smash um, our Colossus here, but... Uh-oh, his attacks we got decreased to nothing, so I couldn't, I couldn't actually smash those Mutas. Oh, and he has, he has like extra health on his Mutas too. Yeah, that's why they're a little stronger, I guess. But Kerrigan's just going to crush him. Because if the, if the Mutas aggro Kerrigan, they like do like 3 damage to her, so Lamau. Uh, get some more LMGs out here, get some more Ultralisk out here, like, damn. This is, this is like, this is a great week. Great week for Direct Strike. <laughs> I'm gonna need some more Shock Divisions and uh, probably Sky Fears. Maybe I'll need Rocket Boys, actually, to deal with, like, all these carriers. Like, Phoenix just said screw it and, like, went for all these big, big units. They're like... I don't know. I guess he does have fire. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need Rocket Boys, I think. I'm struggling here. Yeah, I need Rocket Boys. Because I think Rocket Boys will um, really help out. Uh, I'll put him in the corners, though, I think. Uh, maybe I'll get some Mutalisk as well. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not figuring it out. Uh, but yeah, like the, like, I don't know, he's got fire on his carriers, that's for sure. Plus two damage. He's got plus one armor on it from something. Um, uh, holy, that's a lot of mutilists coming in here. Alright, Black Hammer, let's go. Let's see you take it down. Um... Uh, Oh no, oh no, those Aegis Guard actually just smashed their way through! How could this be? Oh no. I just got slapped there. Holy. Um. What do you mean I can't build that there? I'm gonna build an Earth Splitter here just to like delay the inevitable. Oh my god, holy. I think I think it was just like it was a really tough like um composition to uh to beat here. Um uh, I don't think it was uh all cards screw up here. I think um I didn't do no I didn't do enough of damage. Cause like 
I was trying to figure out how to deal with these. But then also, like, there's all these. And then, like, all these, right? Like, yeah, like, see, Wildcard did so much damage. Like, it was fine. Um, I don't know. I didn't give anything, like, Statman had too many lanes. I don't know. Or, like, did he have his Bane lanes upgraded all the way? Oh, I guess he did. I don't know. Did he, did he have a... Does he have a... Aura? Times two? Three? Four? I don't know. Um, okay, I guess he does. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I killed pretty. I killed a lot of mineral ice. I guess it's just. I guess it was just. It was just Stepman. I don't know. Well, you know what? Let's go for one more. Uh, all right, and we are back. And my mouse has decided to drag me into the corner. There we go. Um, all right. Let's put down some blings. I really just want to be able to spam tanks. Maybe actually, maybe tanks actually aren't that good this week. Um, in the sense that swarm host might be OP. Uh, let's see what auras I have here. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have life again. Okay, I'll go fire. Okay, ice is not bad. Mm. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with shadow. I guess ice is better than nothing, right? We got some ravisaurs here with something. I don't know. They just got destroyed. They just got ravaged. Uh, looks like there's a swan and then there's a phoenix. Okay, so it's uh, Haka, swan, phoenix in that order. I wonder what wild cards we're playing. Oh, my cards are also going Minx. Okay, nice. I'm just gonna go straight for tanks here. Because I think I think the lings with all these stats are pretty strong. And did we get our Alarak back? Oh yes, we got our Alarak back. By Alarak back, I mean uh, the Alarak from our tier list video with the Abathur game. Um, I wonder if he high rolled like, la like in that game. In that game, he high rolled like fire like three times. Okay, he didn't high roll fire three times. Okay, well. Unfortunate. Would have been nice. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go for a second gas immediately here. A little greedy, but you know. You know. Gotta greed while you still can. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Let's have a look. What happens here. Okay. 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 Ravasaur's dead. <laughs> uh... I don't know what to do against the Haka here. I should, probably shouldn't buy a Royal Guard just yet. Just because, um, Haka could do some funky business with, like, I don't know, Mutalisk or, or something. Something funky here. Um, oh. That being said, like, I also found a, a pretty cool uh, mobile game. <laughs> that is kind of like Direct Strike. Not kind of like that. It's like it's a lot slower because it's a mobile game. It just takes a lot, lot more time to get, uh, get units and stuff. It's like kind of like a mix between an Isla game Sell. and like a sort of like tug of war battle thing. Uh, and I've been playing it like a little like bit one. in my infinite boredom. Let's see. Uh -huh. Upgrade complete. There we go. Get some flamethrowers here. Upgrade I don't know. Complete. You guys like to see it? All those idols just, just. I'm not really far into it, so maybe I'll show it off maybe a little later on like a Fleetcher Friday or something. Ooh! Ooh! Primal Igniter. It's got plus five armor. Like, plus two. He has plus two armor. Okay, well, he went for Igniters, so... Is it tank time, or is it Aegis Guard time? I'm not even sure. Uh, Talk to me. Ah, I think it's tank time. Let's go. It's never not tank time. Um, and I definitely need some LMG boys. Because Fire, Ice, and Shadow are pretty good. Let's give him some LMGs here. There we go. Got some are those destroyed cyclones, hellbats. Didn't get a chance to see. There we go. Phoenix is going all out on the Caldalus here. Plus two armor. I mean, the vanguards are definitely not going to be able to handle them. So I guess that is a good choice. My flamethrower boys inside the bunker will be able to handle it though. So there is that. What's up? <laughs> there is that. Uh, okay. Got my shock divisions. Oh, he ate something already, though. Oh, yes. Boom. I might need to get an Emperor's Shadow to counter to Haka. Or actually, no. He's massive at some point, right? So I can just get an anti-massive unit. Oh, but he ate my guy. Unfortunate. Alright. Just need more LMG boys. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a Cyclone that went down. Let's see. Uh, LMG boys doing their best here. 
Uh oh, Cyclone. Oh. Alaric has a lot of uh, war prisms. Oh, does he have Earth twice? Oh, that's not as great. I don't think. I don't know. You'd rather have a. I don't know. I don't know. Armor is not as great as as uh, attack damage increase. Wait, does Wildcard have life and fire? Oh my god, he has life twice. He has life twice and he has fire. Ooh. That's the dream. It's like dream situation. Oh man. Hank just got nommed twice. Nice. Uh, LMG boys do like 3 damage here. I have to get another tank here. But I guess I'll have to be building more of the specialty guys. Uh, in this case, I don't have the life. Or, uh, I don't know. Still got to have some boys on the field though, so let's put them down. Holy. Like 105 health boys are actually insane. Like, that's nuts. Humanity. Ooh. There we go. Um, there, well, the only thing I need to do, I think, is just put down some witnesses. Upgrade my weapons here. Alright. Lots of adepts. Okay. Adepts are dead. I need, I think I need, like, another line of Zerglings. Like, 100% for sure. Okay, you put all his worms over there. Great. Is he gonna eat that one? Okay. Uh, yeah, I need more wings. We need more bodies. We need more bodies in the field. Um, I've actually never done this, but like, what if I have like two lines of wings here? Um, you know, I've never actually tried this out. It's a, it's a novel formation. Let's see what, let's see what it yields in terms of results. Huh. And then three more this way, so another one. Give yourself some LMGs here. Hmm. Man, like Phoenix is uh, really feeling it this week too, with all that extra aura power. I think you know what I need though. I think I really need some flame boys. Um, like some sort of healthier unit. Maybe I can get some Aegis Guards. I don't know, maybe the tanks just don't shoot fast enough. Yeah, I'm just getting oofed here. Hmm. I don't know, I made it through most of that wave though, so it's like... It could be worse. Um... I guess I can just save up for more tanks. Or Empress Shadow? Is it Shadow time? Oh, all the cyclones are, are aggroing that. Oh, that's gonna keep the tank alive here. Oh, that's gonna be great. Uh, put that down there. Oh, I don't think those LMGs came out. No, those LMGs didn't go out. Oh well. Oh well. Upgrade the main weapons to another level. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. The thing is, like, the lings are just getting chewed up as soon as they go in, which is, you know, sort of what I have them here for, but... Um, actually, we're we're getting through a lot more. Oh, is that a... That's a... That's bad. That's a swarm host. Or rather, it's a creeper host, which is even more... Even more de deadly. Although, without the same amount of HP... Like, the boys have so much HP they can tank it pretty nicely here. I'm thinking maybe I should get one Aegis Guard. Just to, like, really help me uh, punch through here. Because Aegis Guard do so much damage. Um, and I should probably stop having my tank only bias because it's killing me right now. So, uh, grab an Aegis Guard here. Um, aim assist. Get incapacitator shells. We're gonna need it. Boom, 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 boom. Not boom. Okay, also because the Haka's Fire Breath is eventually going to knock me out here, so... Uh-huh. Okay. Oh yeah, those 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 Creeper Hosts are going to be troublesome. Um, oh no. Oh, 
We got Maeve here coming in. New Brawl is crazy. Indeed. Why does Ashley not say? I don't know what to do here. Um, because creepers are just gonna be strong counters. Um, and I don't have the health pool to like sustain that kind of damage. Oh, oh, oh! I got it! I got it! Haha! Not enough minerals. Actually, I don't know. This could actually be really bad because if he doesn't have aerial burst sacks, then those minerals are actually useless. Um. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I guess they're attacking the units here. I don't know. I don't know. Is he massive yet? Oh, he is massive. There we go. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to grab ourselves a Sky Fury and we get him grounded here. Um. There we go. Once the Haka gets massive, he loses that tanky bonus against uh, against me. Prevent him from uh, going into the skies. Oh my god. Tanks survive in here. Look at what they can do. Whew. That's three tanks there just chilling out. We got an Ascendant here as well. Oh, but the tanks got rushed down here. Can they peel him off? Okay, Alarax is actually able to peel him off here. The War Prism just taking on Mojo. Now Alarax having a slice. Oh baby, that's a lot of tanks. They're gonna siege up. Boom, boom, boom. Smash right through that front line. Oh yeah. Let's see, my Aegis cards still have their stim up. Uh, okay. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be that. Uh, Fortune favors the bold, baby. Uh, where am I gonna put you? Right in the center? That seems a bit aggressive. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll put him next to the Aegis Guard. I don't know. Put him right next to the Aegis Guard. Uh, I don't actually have Ultralisk unlocked yet. Oops. Oops! Maybe I'll think about getting some of those. Uh, Wild Card's 105 boy, 105 health boys just doing its best. Some of these Shock Divisions aren't even fully ranked. They're just, they're just there. That's just the power of the Shocks, boys. Um... You can see how useless scouts are in uh, actual combat against ground units, so them out. Okay, we got some Ultralis coming in here. Holy. Got some big explosions here. Oh, he does have aerial burst sacks. Okay, I, I baited him into getting it, so I can use Mutalis to shield my wave. Um, that's how you're really supposed to do it. I mean, that's the only thing you can do, really. Shield your wave with Mutas. Oh yeah, look, like, the Mutas absorb one of those Creepers each. Like, Aerial Burst Axe is the worst thing to do against the Mutas. Um, quite frankly, you just lose the game uh, with them. Uh, Aegis Guard's here just chilling. He's just going for it. Maybe I could get some more Aegis Guards. Uh, but my mind's telling me I should buy some more tanks, so... Huh, let's go do that. Uh, <laughs> my mind's telling me tanks. Or is it my body that's telling me tanks? I don't know. Oh, I got some scouts here just getting mind blasted. Are the scouts seriously losing to war prisms or... Oh no, they're losing the war prism because they're not shooting the war prisms. Haha! <laughs> like, I like that you have like a fat stack of units here just like all stacked up in this corner. Just like ready to go. I'm gonna drop a scan here. I don't know if it's necessary. I just, you know... Just throw some 25 minerals around here. Mutal is just absorbing those hits like champs. That's why you never buy Aerial Bursac, by the way. Um, you only buy it if you're against a bunch of capital ships. Um, otherwise, your, lo your, your, your locusts are going to just be wasted. Um, if he didn't get Aerial Bursacs, I think hmm, maybe things might have been better. I'm not too sure here. Uh, 59k, so our team actually dealt overall... Pretty good damage. I dealt the least damage, Lamal. I'm not surprising that Wildcard did the most because uh, his boys had like a total like of 60 extra health than what they're normally supposed to have. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then uh, I did kill the most mineral value again. How does that keep happening? How does that? I don't. I don't know how that happens. But I guess like maybe I just killed a lot of big things. Uh. Well, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like.
And until next time, I will see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires! They picked the wrong fights.